playing with power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Be sure to check out Dragon Shield for all of the best accessories to protect your decks. TCG Player for cards at great prices while still supporting local game stores. And Patreon, where you get awesome benefits for your direct support. We are excited to announce our very own custom Dragon Shield sleeves. You can find these on our store along with tons of other great Playing With Power merch. Pick up your custom Playing With Power sleeves today. Links are in the description below. At the end of April, we will be going to SCGCon Pittsburgh. We will be playing CDH in the Command Zone and recording games while we are there. Stop by, say hello, and let's all jam some games together. Starting April 2nd to the end of April, our Patreon League is returning. We will be giving away $1,000 in cash prizes. All you have to do to enter is sign up to our Patreon. Sign up today and let's play. Links are in the description below. Every month we get together with our Mox Pro patrons and record games to be on the channel. That's what this game is tonight. So let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Adam piloting the partner pair of Tevish Sot, Doom of Fools, and Ashai, Ojitai Dragon Speaker. This mid-range deck seeks to grind value and resolve an ad nos to win the game, all while being able to break parity with major stacks pieces like Humility. Adam's opening hand contains a Windfall, Fierce Guardianship, Mana Drain, Chrome Mox, Exotic Orchard, Bloodstained Mire, and his Linden Mulligan is a Tainted Pact. Next, we have Shinta piloting Hanada, Dawn Crowned. This mid-range deck looks to control the board, break parity with spells like Heliod's Intervention, and eventually close out the game with a Breach or Dual Caster Mage combo. Shinta's opening hand contains a Gataxian Probe, Gilded Drake, Rogrin Triome, Spectator Seeding, Exotic Orchard, Mana Crypt, and his London Mulligan is a Brain Freeze. Next, we have Cal piloting the partner pair of Malcolm, Keen-Eyed Navigator, and Tana the Bloodsower. This deck called Teamer Pirates seeks to land Malcolm and Glinthorn Buccaneer to combo off and win the game. Cal's opening hand contains a Cavern of Souls, Elvish Mystic, Mystic Remora, Flooded Strand, and his Lennon Mulligans are a Cyclonic Rift, Keen Sense, and a Neoform. Finally, we have Charles piloting Al the Dawn Sky. This mid-range deck uses light stacks to slow down the board, accrue value from its commander, and win the game through several death triggers. Charles's opening hand contains a Pithy Needle, Iganjo Seed of the Empire, Snow-Covered Plains, Urza Saga, Recruiter of the Guard, Paradise Mantle, and a Walking Ballista. Without further ado, let's kick off this habitual, hardy, highbrow harassment. Adam wins a little superstar dance competition and gets to start us off. Adam draws a card for turn and plays a Bloodstained Mire. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up an Underground Sea onto the battlefield. He casts Chrome Mox, imprinting Fierce Guardianship. He casts a Mana Vault. He floats mana from his vault and casts Windfall. The table suddenly reevaluates their position, and Windfall resolves. Each player discards their hand and draws seven. Adam casts Mox Opal. He casts Talisman of Progress. Finished up, Adam passes the turn. Shinta draws a card for turn and plays a Hollowed Fountain into play untapped, paying two life. He casts Opt, scrying one and drawing a card. Shinta passes. Cal draws and plays a Bloodstained Mire. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Taiga onto the battlefield. He casts Carpet of Flowers. In response, Shinta pays two life to cast Mental Misstep, countering Carpet. Cal sighs and gives the turn to Charles. Charles draws and plays a Homeward Path. He casts Ornithopter. Charles passes. During his draw step, Adam takes a damage from his Mana Vault. He plays a Sea of Clouds for turn. He casts Paladin Class. He casts his commander, a shy Ojitai Dragon Speaker. Adam ends his turn. Shinta draws and plays an Adakar Waste for turn. Shinta passes. Cal draws and plays an Arid Mesa. He casts an Arbor Elf. A shy triggers and gets a plus one plus one counter. Cal ships the turn to Charles. Charles draws and plays a Snow Covered Plains. He casts Sarah Ascendant and a shy gets a counter. Charles gives the turn to Adam. At the end of Charles's turn, Cal cracks his Arid Mesa, pays a life, and fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. During his draw step, Adam takes a damage from his mana vault. He plays a Misty Rainforest for turn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tundra onto the battlefield. He moves to combat and attacks Shinta with a Shy. Shinta takes three, and in a second main phase, Adam casts Arcane Signet. He casts his other commander, Tevish Zot, Doom of Fools. He activates Tevish's first ability, creating two thralls. Adam passes the turn. Shinta draws and plays a Lava Glide Pathway as his land for turn. He casts Chrome Mox, imprinting Flusterstorm. Shinta ends his turn. Cal draws and casts his commander, Malcolm, Keen-Eyed Navigator. A shy triggers and gets a counter. Cal gives the turn to Charles. Charles draws and moves to combat. He attacks Tevish with Sarah Ascendant. Tevish dies and Charles gains six. 
In his second main phase, Charles casts Seal of Cleansing, giving a shy a counter. Charles ends his turn. During his upkeep, Adam pays 4 to untap Mana Vault. He draws and plays a Flooded Strand for turn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Watery Grave onto the battlefield tapped. He moves to combat and attacks Charles with a shy. Charles takes 6, and in his second main phase, Adam casts Grim Monolith. Adam passes the turn. Shinta draws and casts Verity Circle, giving a shy a counter. Shinta passes. Cal draws and starts off his turn by casting Phantasmal Image, giving a shy a counter. Image resolves and enters as a copy of Adam's a shy. Cal moves to combat and attacks Shinta with Malcolm. Shinta takes it, Malcolm triggers, and Cal creates a treasure. Cal ends his turn. Charles draws and moves to combat. He attacks Cal with Sarah Ascendant. Cal takes it, and Charles gains 6. In his second main phase, Charles casts Thalia, Guardian of Thraben. Both the Shies trigger, and in response, Shinta casts Swords to Plowshares, targeting Adams a Shy. Both the Shies trigger again, and in response, Adam casts Miscast, targeting Swords. Cal's a Shy triggers again. Cal's a Shy gets a counter, Miscast counters Swords to Plowshares, both the Shies get a counter, then they both get another counter, then Finally, Thalia resolves. All finished up with 1-1 counters getting thrown around like candy, Charles ends the turn. Adam draws and activates Paladin class, leveling it up, giving his creatures plus one plus one. He activates Paladin class, leveling it up again. He moves to combat, attacking Cal with a shy. Paladin class triggers, giving a shy double strike. Cal chump blocks with his own Ashai. The bird battle in the sky concluded, Adam passes. Shinta draws and casts his commander, Hanada, Dawn Crowned. Ashai triggers and gets a counter. Shinta ends his turn. Cal draws and plays a Gaia's Cradle. He moves to combat and attacks Adam with Malcolm. Adam takes it, Malcolm triggers, and Cal creates a treasure. In his second main phase, Cal casts Gilded Drake. Adam sighs. Ashai triggers and gets a counter. Drake enters and exchanges control of Adam's Ashai. Feeling pretty good about himself, Cal passes. Charles draws and moves to combat. He attacks Cal with Thalia and Sarah Ascendant. Cal takes it and Charles gains 6. Charles gives the turn to Adam. Adam draws and casts Esper Sentinel. Adam's a shy, controlled by Cal, gets a counter. Feeling sick about all that, Adam moves to combat. He attacks Shinta with Gilda Drake and Cal with his two thralls, all of which get plus one plus one through Paladin class. Paladin class triggers targeting Gilda Drake, giving it plus two plus two and double strike. Both declare no blocks and take it all. Adam ends his turn. Shinta draws and taps his Adakar Waste to help cast Curse of the Swine, targeting every opponent's creatures, all reduced through Hanada. Ashai gets a counter, and Adam draws through Esper Sentinel. In response, Cal casts Flusterstorm with all copies targeting Curse of the Swine. Esper Sentinel triggers, and Cal pays. Curse is countered, and Shinta moves to combat. He attacks Cal with Hanada, Cal takes it, and Shinta passes the turn. Cal draws, taps his Taiga, and then activates Arbor Elf to untap it. Verity Circle triggers and Shinta draws. Cal casts Finale of Devastation where X equals 3. Esper triggers and Adam draws. Finale resolves and Cal fetches up a Glinthorn Buccaneer. Cal moves to combat and in response, Adam casts Winds of Rebuke targeting Malcolm. A Shy triggers and gets a counter. Malcolm bounces back to Cal's hand and everyone mills too. Cal attacks Shinta with Glinthorn Buckaroo and Adam with his own A Shy. Adam gets bird slapped for 15 with his own bird and Shinta takes 2. Finished up. Cal passes. At the end of Cal's turn, Charles activates Homeward Path, which everyone forgot was on the board. Everyone regains control of all of their own creatures in order to keep the targets on Adam and away from Charles. Cal sighs, Adam cheers, and Charles moves to his turn. Charles draws and moves to combat. He attacks Adam with Thalia and Sarah Ascendant. Adam takes it and Charles gains 6. In his second main phase, Charles casts Steel Shaper's Gift. Esper and Ashai trigger, Ashai gets a counter, and Adam draws. Steel Shaper's Gift resolves and Charles fetches up a Blade of Selves into his hand. Charles passes the turn. Adam draws and moves to combat. He attacks Cal with Ashai. Paladin class triggers targeting Ashai and giving it double strike. Cal cannot do anything about it, takes a hit, and dies. In his second main phase, Adam casts Ashiok, Dream Render. He activates Ashiok, targeting Charles. Charles mills four, and then each opponent exiles their graveyard. Adam casts Grafdigger's Cage. Shinta thinks about a line that doesn't involve Breach now, and Adam passes the turn. Shinta draws and casts Esper Sentinel. A shy triggers and gets a counter. He moves to combat and attacks Adam with Hanada. Adam takes it, and Shinta passes. Charles draws and moves to combat. He attacks Adam with Sarah Ascendant and Shinta with Thalia. Both declare no blocks, take the damage, and Adam dies. 
Charles gains 6 life and in his second main phase, he casts Martyred Rasulka. Charles gives the turn to Shinta. Shinta draws and casts Archmage Emeritus. He passes. At the end of Shinta's turn, Charles sacrifices Seal of Cleansing, destroying Shinta's Chrome Mox. Charles draws and plays a Snow-Covered Plains. He moves to combat and attacks Shinta with Saracendon. Shinta takes it and Charles gains 6. In his second main phase, Charles casts Archon of Emeria. He passes. Shinta draws, takes no actions, and passes. Charles draws and moves to combat. He attacks Shinta with Sarah Senden. Shinta takes it, and Charles gains 6. In his second main phase, Charles casts Thalia, Heretic Cathar. In response, Shinta taps Akadar Waste to help cast Mana Drain. Archmage triggers, and Shinta draws. Thalia is countered, and Charles gives the turn to Shinta. Shinta draws, and in his first main phase, he adds 3 colorless through Mana Drain. He casts Heat Shimmer, targeting Archmage. Archmage triggers, and Shinta draws. Shimmer resolves, and Shinta creates a copy of Archmage. In desperation, Shinta attacks Charles with everything. Charles blocks Archmage with Thalia and Esper Sentinel with his Archon. Charles takes the rest and Shinta passes the turn. Charles draws and moves to combat. He attacks Shinta with everything except his Ornithopter. Shinta takes it, dies, and Charles wins the game. That was a swingy game. Let's shuffle up and play another. In this game, Shinta is piloting Yuriko, the Tiger's Shadow. This is a budget deck that seeks to attack with ninjas, draw cards, and deal damage with its commander while disrupting his opponents. Shinta's opening hand contains a Dispel, Swamp, Island, Ingenious Infiltrator, and his London Mulligans are Sakashima the Imposter, Fallen Shinobi, and Counterspell. Next, we have Adam, also piloting Yuriko, the Tiger's Shadow. This is a budgetless version of Yuriko with the same basic game plan as Shinta's deck. Adam's opening hand contains Agadim's Awakening, Watery Grave, Command Tower, Mental Misstep, Flusterstorm, Change of Mephistopheles, and his London Mulligan is a common deer. Next, we have Charles, and he brings back Al the Dawn Sky. Charles's opening hand contains a Mox Opal, Stoneforge Mystic, Snow Covered Plains, Crystal Vein, Rest in Peace, Grim Monolith, and an Oswald Fiddlebender. Finally, we have Cal, and he brings back Malcolm Tana. Cal's opening hand contains a Soul Ring, Mana Drain, Windswept Heath, Gemstone Caverns, Brainstorm, and his London Mulligans are a Gilda Drake and a Snap. And Shinta gets to start us off. But Cal has a pregame action and puts Gemstone Caverns into play with a Luck Counter, Exiling Mana Drain. Shinta draws for turn and plays an Island. He passes. Adam draws and plays an Agadim, the Undercrypt, tapped. He ends the turn. Charles draws and plays a Snow Covered Plains. He casts Mox Opal. He gives the turn to Cal. Cal draws and plays a Windswept Heath. He casts Brainstorm. He draws three and puts two back on top. He cracks his heath, pays a life, and fetches up a tropical island onto the battlefield. He ends the turn. Shinta draws and plays a swamp. He passes. Adam draws, and he starts his turn off by paying two life to cast Cataxine Probe targeting Shinta. He looks at Shinta's hand and draws a card. He plays a command tower. He casts Chains of Mephistopheles. It enters, and the turn moves to Charles. Charles draws and plays a Crystal Vein. He sacrifices Crystal Vein to cast Grim Monolith. He casts Pithy Needle. It enters and he names Glinthorn Buccaneer. He casts Oswald Fiddlebender. He follows it up with a Stoneforge Mystic. It enters and Charles fetches Nim Death Metal into his hand. Charles ends the turn. Cal draws and plays a Training Center. He casts Soul Ring. He casts his commander, Malcolm, Keen Eyed Navigator. Cal passes. Shinta draws and casts Ponder. He looks at the top three cards of his library, rearranges, and discards, then draws through chains. He plays Mystic Sanctuary tapped. He ends the turn. Adam draws and plays a Watery Grave tapped. He casts Fairy Seer. It enters and he scries to. Adam ends the turn. Charles draws and plays a Snow Covered Plains. He activates Oswald, sacrificing Mox Opal, and fetches Soul Ring onto the battlefield. He activates Stoneforge, putting Nim Death Mana onto the battlefield. He casts Blind Obedience. With nothing else, Charles ends the turn. Cal draws and moves straight to combat. He attacks Charles with Malcolm. Charles takes the hit and Malcolm triggers, creating a treasure tapped through blind obedience. Cal gives the turn to Shinta. Shinta draws and plays an island. He casts his commander, Yuriko, the tiger shadow. It enters tapped through blind obedience and Shinta ends the turn. Adam draws and plays an exotic orchard. He moves to combat and attacks Shinta with fairy seer. Shinta declares no blocks and before damage, Adam nujitsu's Yuriko, returning fairy seer to his hand. Shinta takes the hit and Yuriko triggers, revealing mystical tutor into his hand, with each opponent losing one life. In a second main phase, Adam recasts Fairy Seer. It enters tapped and scries too. With nothing else, Adam passes. Charles draws and floats mana with his Soul Ring. He activates Oswald, sacrificing Soul Ring, and fetches an Arcane Signet onto the battlefield. 
He casts Mirage Mirror, extorting it through blind obedience. Charles ends his turn. Cal draws and plays Rejuvenating Springs. He moves to combat and attacks Charles with Malcolm. Charles takes the hit and Malcolm triggers, creating a tapped treasure. In his second main phase, Cal casts his other commander, Tana the Bloodsower. It enters tapped and he ends the turn. Shinta draws and moves to combat, attacking Adam with Yuriko. Adam takes a hit, Yuriko triggers and reveals a swamp into his hand. In his second main phase, he plays a swamp. He casts Ingenious Infiltrator. It enters tapped and he passes. Adam draws and plays Verdant Catacomb. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up an underground sea onto the battlefield. He moves to combat and attacks Shinta with Yuriko. Shinta takes the hit. Yuriko triggers and reveals Universal Automaton into his hand with each opponent losing one life. In his second main phase, he casts Universal Automaton. It enters tapped and he gives the turn to Charles. Charles draws and starts his turn off by activating Oswald, sacrificing Grim Monolith, and fetching up an Ashnod's altar onto the battlefield. He sacrifices Oswald and Stoneforge to Ashnod's, adding four colorless. He casts his commander, Al, the Dawn Sky. It enters, and he sacrifices Al to Ashnod's, putting Al into his graveyard. Nim Death Mantle and Al Trigger. He looks at the top seven cards of his library, puts Takatli Honor Guard, Martyred Rasulka, and On Thin Ice onto the battlefield. On Thin Ice triggers and targets Adam's Yuriko, exiling it. With Nim Death Mantle's trigger still on the stack, Charles sacrifices Martyred Rasulka to Ashnod's altar to pay for Death Mantle, returning Al to the battlefield. He sacrifices Al to Ashnod's, triggering Death Mantle and Al. He looks at the top seven and reveals Leonin Relic Warder onto the battlefield. He sacrifices Relic Warder to Ashnod's and pays for Nim Death Mantle. Al returns to the battlefield and Charles sacrifices Al to Ashnod's again, triggering Nim Death Mantle and Al. He looks at the top seven and reveals Remorseful Cleric and Lion Sash, putting them onto the battlefield. He sacrifices Lion Sash to Ashnod's to pay for Death Mantle, returning Al to the battlefield. He loops Al, looking at the top seven, revealing Thalia, Heretic, Cathar, and Manavolt onto the battlefield. He taps Manavolt to pay for Nim Death Mantle, returning Al. He loops Al, looking at the top seven, revealing Vryn Wingmere, Portable Hole, and Lion's Eye Diamond onto the battlefield. Portable Hole enters and targets Cal's treasure. In response, Cal cracks his treasure, floating a blue. Charles cracks his LED, discards his hand, and adds three white. He pays for Nim Death Mantle, returning Al. He loops Al, looking at the top seven, revealing Cathar Commando, Moon Silver Key, Ornithopter, and Mana Crypt onto the battlefield. He sacrifices Remorseful Cleric to Ashnod's to pay for Death Mantle, returning Al. He loops Al, looking at the top seven, revealing Sanctifier Onvek and Ornithopter of Paradise onto the battlefield. He sacrifices Ornithopter of Paradise to Ashnod's to pay for Death Mantle, returning Al. He loops Al, Looking at the top seven, revealing Avon Mind Sensor and Paradise Mantle onto the battlefield. He sacrifices Sanctifier Onvek to Ashnod's to pay for Death Mantle, returning Al. He loops Al, looking at the top seven, revealing Grand Abolisher, Saracenant, and Weathered Wayfarer onto the battlefield. He sacrifices Wayfarer to Ashnod's to pay for Death Mantle and returning Al. He loops Al, looking at the top seven, revealing Mother of Runes and Hushwing Grip onto the battlefield. He sacrifices Mother of Runes to Ashnod's to pay for Death Mantle, returning Al. He loops Al, looking at the top seven, revealing Giver of Runes onto the battlefield. He sacrifices Giver to Ashnod's to pay for Death Mantle, returning Al. He loops Al again, looking at the top seven, revealing Ranger Captain of Eos and Phyrexian Dreadnought onto the battlefield. He sacrifices Dreadnought to Ashnod's to pay for Death Mantle, returning Al. He loops Al, looking at the top seven, revealing Oriok Salvagers onto the battlefield. He sacrifices Hushwing Griff to Ashnod's to pay for Death Mantle, returning Al. He loops Al, looking at the top seven, revealing Relic Vile onto the battlefield. He activates Mirage Mirror, cloning Relic Vile. He sacrifices Vryn Wingmare to Ashnod's, both Relic Vile's trigger, and each opponent loses two life. He sacrifices Thalia to Ashnod's, with each opponent losing two life. He pays for Death Mantle, returning Al. He sacrifices Al, each opponent loses two life, and he looks at the top seven, revealing Thalia, Guardian of Thraben, and Restoration Specialist onto the battlefield. He sacrifices Specialist to Ashnod's, and each opponent loses two life. He pays for Death Mantle, returning Al. He sacrifices Al, each opponent loses two life, and he looks at the top seven, revealing Skyclave Apparition onto the battlefield. He sacrifices Skyclave, each opponent loses two life, and pays for Death Mantle, returning Al. 
He sacrifices Al, each opponent loses two life, and he looks at the top seven, revealing Spirit of the Labyrinth onto the battlefield. He sacrifices Spirit, each opponent loses two life, and pays for Death Mantle, returning Al. He sacrifices Al, each opponent loses two life, and he looks at the top seven, revealing Ambitious Farmhand and Aether Sworn Cannonist onto the battlefield. He sacrifices Ambitious Farmhand to Ashnods, each opponent loses two life, and he pays for Death Mantle, returning Al. He sacrifices Al. Each opponent loses two life, and he looks at the top seven, revealing Mirror of the Forebears and Darksteel Mutation onto the battlefield. Darksteel Mutation attaches to Malcolm, and he chooses Spirit. He sacrifices Cathar Commando to Alter. Each opponent loses two life, and he pays for Death Mantle, returning Al. He sacrifices Saracen to Ashnods, and each opponent loses two life. He activates Mirror of the Forebears, copying Al. He sacrifices the Forebear's copy to the Legend Rule, and each opponent loses two life. Death Mantle and Owl Trigger. He looks at the top seven and reveals Archon of Emeria, Esper Sentinel, and a Walking Ballista onto the battlefield. Ballista dies to state-based actions, and each opponent loses two life. He sacrifices Owl, each opponent loses two life, and he looks at the top seven, revealing Sanctum Prelate and Land Tax onto the battlefield. He names two as Prelate Inners. He sacrifices Prelate to Ashnods, each opponent loses two life. He sacrifices Avon Mind Sensor, each opponent loses two life, and Charles wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, the Mono White Machine was on a roll tonight. Congrats to Charles on his wins. In game one, he expertly piloted and politicked his way through the game, and it paid off in the end. In game two, Charles was playing some cards that don't see much play in CDH. By the time the table realized what was happening, it was already too late. The most valuable card in game one goes to Ashai, Ojutai Dragon Speaker. This card becomes a major threat with every rotation of the table. It's frequently the target of Gilda Drake, and this game was no exception. Charles timed his homeward path activation perfectly, leaving people in the proper spots to be finished off. The most valuable card in game two goes to Ashnod's Altar. This card was the sack outlet and mana generation that allowed Charles to pull off this combo. Combined with Nim Death Mantle, all Charles had to do was find one creature per iteration of the loop to keep going. Charles always brings the mono white spice, and tonight was no exception. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time when we duke it out to see who will be the king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.